Okay, step one, make sure you take out the battery. You don't want to get shocked. Chances are you probably won't, but just in case, it's always good. Safety first. See, there's one up there. There's a black little, uh, these little things, these little covers, screw covers. Okay, so there's the screw. There's four of them in, in each corner of the screen. This little miniature screw, and there's a, it's a miniature Phillips that I used to uh, to get it out. A little miniature pointed Phillips, and just take all four of those out. All right, at this point, I've got all four screws out, and now the fun part, where I have to peel this this up here carefully. It kind of clicks off like that. And you have to go around it and just work it off. Take your time and don't rush it and don't force it. Just kind of gently pull on it until it pops like that. And just do that all around the outer edge. And the bottom will be the hardest because it's it's you know it's kind of tight in there. It's hard to get your fingers in there. So be extra patient in there when you're popping that off. I'm working with one hand on the camera and one on the thing, so just to recap, you kind of get your hand, your fingers in there gently and just pry it, pull up on it until it pops like it just did. Okay, and then you just pull like that, and the same thing over here. Sorry for the shaky camera, but I'm a one-man show here. And now you have the screen exposed. So now you see that. That's what that looks like. Okay. So continuing on, now we have the screen free. You see there's a bracket here that goes along the whole screen. There's a screw there and a screw up here. They're black little miniature screws. You got to take them out and there's the same thing on the other side over here. So you get those off and then your screen will be free. And be in this case the screen is broken so it's not a big deal, but just for good practice be gentle with it because they can break easily. Okay, at this point, I got all four screws out, two on each side. Now you see that it's loose. See, this is the bracket that that was on. So now the screen is out. Okay. Okay, so there's where that screw is. That's where I just took a screw out. It's a tough angle. You kind of have to pry the clamshell, the whole laptop, open as far as you can without breaking anything. And uh, just on a crazy angle, just get that, keep pushing your screwdriver in there with a little force on that screw until you get it loose. And then just loosen it up and it'll fall out. And then the same goes for the exact same thing on the other side. Down here, there's the same exact location. I'm going to take that one out next. Uh, just one screw. And then that'll free this whole framework for me so I can get there's a screw here one more little black screw like the ones that I took out earlier and one down here on the side which I'll show you in a minute yeah that this is the only way I could get access to them by taking this hinge off Okay, so there's the screw that we need to get that we finally can get access to. So you had to loosen this hinge piece on each side to get that to separate from the, uh, the outer clamshell cover. So these, see this little black screw? There'll be one on the other side as well. Get that off, and you're free. All you have is a cable then to unplug, and I'll show you that next. All right, so there's the plug. It's plugged in there. You kind of just wiggle it off, and it, it'll probably stick up here. The sticky stuff, but just gently peel it off like a sticker. And that's it, you're free. And now all you do is the same thing in reverse.
Okay, so this is the part, this part here has to slide into there. If you don't do that, you did all, you did everything for nothing, so you gotta make sure that's connected, you, or you won't have video. So, you hold this tab, this sticky tab up, and you have to line it up, which is not that easy. And once you get it lined up, you have to kind of mess with it so you get it to go. Come on, you pain. There we go. And you kind of push it from the back until it clips. And make sure it's flush all the way in and, and equal across. Once you got that, then you push the tape down to secure it. So don't tighten these all the way down just yet. Leave yourself a little play because you're going to have to line screws up, which is always a pain. Let me get the rest of these here. I'm going to go for the top one next and then to the middle just so it holds together and it's not flopping around anymore. I'm going to almost tighten that down and leave it a tiny bit loose. And we're going to do the same over here. Just so you don't have any problems with uh, reassembly, with everything fitting perfectly. Before you tighten these three screws down on each side, see how that corner piece is molded for this, the corner? Just make sure that's tight in, in, in there. Make sure it's in there before you start tightening it down. That way, you use it as a guide. That way you know you're in line. So I find it easier if you tighten the screws like this instead of flat on the table because it's a hard angle to get to and you need to get your hand around the screwdriver. These little screws are a pain. So try to get tight, but don't over tighten the strip. Just Get it nice and snug. Okay, so before we go any further, before we put these two screws in, uh, go ahead and fire up, plug in, and I have the battery in, plug in and uh, fire up your laptop, make sure your screen's working, make sure you don't have any dead pixels. This one's a nice, perfect screen. So uh, we're going to go ahead and finish putting it back together after I shut it off and take the battery out. So everything looks good. Nice and crisp. Alright, so I don't know if you can see that, but in there is two gold-plated uh, thread holes. That's on each side. That's what you want to get your screw in. Look for that. So when you put this together, you want them to line up there. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so I got these two screws in. And everything's in there nice and perfectly uh, aligned. So now we're going to put the front bezel back on. So the first step is to clip this in here into the hinge holes there and then just like you did before just kind of try to gently but don't crack the screen whatever you do go around and snap it back in and just kind of feel it out you know work your way around try not to force anything because you can easily snap crack these screens and just make sure it's in there all the way around 